and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we'll be continuing on with our LRTA1 4G1300, and we'll be learning how to build this cabless coach car, and at the end, we'll go over how to arrange the rest of the train. So let's get right into it here. So the first step here is to take out a polished deep slate slab, and we'll attach that up here. Under it, we're gonna put a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then, we're gonna skip one block back from this, and we're gonna get another right on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we'll do a three by three of polished blackstone block, and another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Take out polished deep slate stairs on the side of the polished blackstone here and here facing this way. Turn around and facing this way here and here. Put a polished deep slate slab in between each stair on the bottom of each side. Next, we're gonna skip one block back from these wheels and we're gonna put two rows of three polished deep slate walls in the center. Then, right behind that, we're gonna do a five by five of lodestone. Just like that. Then behind that, three polished deep slate walls in the center, and directly behind that, two rows of five polished chiseled deep slate blocks. Then behind that, we'll skip one block backwards from it, and we'll get another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a three by three of polished blackstone and another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Take out polished deep slate stairs facing this way here and here. Turn around facing this way here and here. Then a polished deep slate slab on the bottom center between the stairs on each side. Behind that, skip one block backwards and we're gonna do two rows of five chiseled polished blackstone. Then directly behind that, three polished deep slate walls in the center. Then a five by five of lodestone. Once we have that, we'll go back to polish deep slate walls here. And put two rows of three in the center. Then skip one block back from that. Another right wheel on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then a three by three of polished black stone block. Then another set of other right wheels and an end rod axle. Polish deep slate stairs on the side here and here. Turn around, a stair here and here. Then polish deep slate slabs on the bottom middle of each side between the stairs. Now we'll come through on the sides of the truck and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all four wheels. Same thing for this truck here. And same thing on this truck here. Then we're going to take out red concrete here. We need three across this top middle, right there in front of the wheels. Then one on this outside edge, but leave that corner open. Then we'll start running it down this edge here. Except we're gonna leave the center block on that middle truck open. Do the same thing here. Red concrete down to here. And we'll skip over the center block on this middle truck and get a red concrete on each side one block back. Then we continue the red concrete down to the very back of this back wheel here. And same thing on this side here. Then we're gonna come up front here. Come underneath where this coupling is. We need to put another dark oak fence gate underneath in the center. Then we'll come on this top middle and start filling this middle three with polished black stone block. And start bringing that down towards the back. Right 
here we stop and leave this central gap open and then continue filling the middle three down to the back on this section of the car. Stop right here and then put three red concrete across the back middle. Then on the center, put a polished deep slate slab right there and two dark oak fence gates in the center underneath it. Now we'll come to the front end of the car here and in the center here, we're gonna put two rows of three light gray concrete. Then a light gray on either side of the top and a light blue stained glass pane. Three red concrete across the top Come around here and close a crimson trap door on the center block. We'll repeat the process for this end. So two rows of three light gray concrete, then one on each side in a stained glass pane, three red concrete above it, and close the trap door on the center of the top here. Then we'll come up here and on top of this red concrete on the side, starting right here, We'll do another layer, but light gray concrete this time. Leave this middle gap open, and then bring it down to the back of this section. And we'll of course do the same thing over here, so start right here. Bring light gray concrete forward, skip this middle section, and then bring it to the front of this section here. Now we'll do the sides. So starting on the front right here, we're gonna do a column of two light gray concrete at the very front, then two coming sideways, two stained glass panes above it, then a column of two. Then we're gonna put two doors, then a column of two light gray concrete. Come back three, stained glass panes above it, column of two. Come back three again, and a column of two, stained glass panes in there. Then two doors, then a two by two of light gray concrete. Then we'll come through on this side with light gray concrete and just copy the pattern directly across from the other side. Then put two doors in here, two doors in here, and fill these gaps with light blue stained glass panes for all the windows. Now we'll do the sides of the rear section and we'll start from the back. So two light gray concrete in this back corner and a column. Then forward two, stained glass panes above it. Then a column of two. Two doors, column of two. Come forward three, windows above it, a column of two. Forward by three again, stained glass panes above it, column of two. Then two doors and a two by two of light gray concrete. And then same thing, we'll use our light gray concrete to copy the pattern directly across from the other side. Then we'll fill all these gaps with light blue stained glass panes. Then two doors here and two doors here. Then start on this top corner and we'll do a line of red concrete above this. Skip this middle block and continue the red concrete up to the front. Same thing on this side, start here with red concrete, start bringing it down, skip this middle block, and bring it down to the front on this side. Then in this corner here, we do a red stained glass pane, three light gray, and a red on top. Same thing here, red stained glass pane, three light gray, and a red on top. And we have to do the same thing at the other end. So red stained glass pane down here, three light gray, red on top. And one more corner to go. Red down here, three light gray, red on top. Next, we'll come inside here with gray concrete. And everywhere there's doors, we'll put two rows of three gray concrete across the bottom. So same thing here, then here, then here. Then on the rest of it, we'll run gray concrete right up the center. Skip this middle block, and then same thing here, 
gray concrete right up the center. Right down to the back. Then we'll fill in all of the gaps on the sides with white concrete. Two here, skip this center block. Two here, two here, and keep coming through the sides with white concrete to the other end of the car. Just like that. Then we're gonna take glass panes, two here, two here, two here, and two here. On this side, two in the middle of these windows. On this side, two by this door. Then we'll move down here, do two here, two here. On this side, two in the middle of the windows. Then on this side, two by the door. Then two here, and two here. Then take prismarine brick stairs facing inward for the seats on each side here. On this side, it goes all the way across. And on this side, only on the left here. Then one here, one here, one here, one here. Then on this side, all the way across. On this side, only on the left. Then three on each side, back here. Then we'll take out torches to light it, one here and here. Come down to the other end, one here and here. Then come down to this middle and put columns of iron blocks in all four of those corners. Then two torches here, two torches here and here. Then we'll put a door here and a door here. Now we're gonna come down in between these sections here and we're gonna put a polished deep slate slab in this center on bottom here above it an iron trap door then on the sides of it we're gonna do two columns of stone brick walls up to the top come across the top and same thing on this side two columns of stone brick walls in here up to the top then we'll come down to the end of the car and we'll fill the entire top middle three in between the red concrete with cyan terracotta and bring that down skip over these walls and same thing for this section fill this whole top middle three with cyan terracotta down to the end of the car so the whole roof is filled in here. Just like that. Now we're going to come on top of the front section of the car, above the first block of this second window, three iron trap doors across, then one in the center, flower pots on each side, two iron bars in the middle, an iron trap door with flower pots on each side again, and three iron trap doors across here. Then come down here and put two sideways lightning rods on either side. On this back iron bar, we're gonna come up one, back one, then up one again, forward one, then out by one to each side on the front of it. Across here, three iron trap doors. On the side of it, open a birch fence gate on each side here. Then take out each of the outer iron bars on each side so it looks like this for the pantograph. Once we have that in place, we're going to come to the back of the front section here in front of where the stone brick walls are. We'll put a dragon head here and here, then three polished die right across the middle. Come over here and put a lightning rod above each dragon snout like that. Crouch, and we need to get two iron trap doors above the top of each dragon head. Then we can delete these front iron trap doors we use for placement. Then one block in front of it, we're gonna do three gray concrete coming across, then two gray concrete, and three. In this gap, deep slate tile step block. Here, two deep slate tile blocks, then two gray concrete here, one here, and a deep slate tile on that side. Then three gray concrete. On the side, put a gray stained glass pane here, here, and here. Over here, we put one here and here, and on the end. 
Then up here, we're going to put an iron trap door here and here. Then two stone pleasure plates over there. Cover the rest of this box with light gray carpet. Just like that. Then we'll work on the roof down here. So turn this way, a dragon head here and here. Three polished diorite across. On this side, put a lightning rod on either side. Then crouch and we need to get two iron trap doors above each dragon head. Take out these ones we used for placement here. Then we're gonna do two rows of three iron trap doors, one block forward from the die right here. And then we're gonna work on the air conditioning unit up on this car here. So behind that, three gray concrete. Then a deep slate tile block on that side, two gray concrete. Then three gray concrete and another row of three gray concrete. Then on this side, we're gonna do a two by two of deep slate tile blocks. Two gray concrete on that side, three across the back. On top of this two by two, we're gonna put two iron trap doors here and two stone pressure plates there and one over there. Fill the rest of it where we haven't built anything with light gray carpet here. Then gray stained glass panes on the side like that and one here, one here, and one here. Then behind this, two rows of three iron trap doors. And that completes the build here for this coach car. So, so far, we have the control car and the coach car, and the only thing left to do now is to use the structure command to copy in or just build these same two cars, but facing the opposite way here. So there's two coach cars in the middle with the pantographs on opposite ends, and then another control car on this rear end with the cab facing the opposite way here. So that completes this train here. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.